What's going on everybody? My name is Diggit and I am bringing you another unboxing. I'm gonna try to make this quick and easy. Uh, my son is finally starting to fall asleep and I'm in the living room, not around my desk or anything like that. So it's kind of an unusual setting here with the Christmas tree. But like I said, my son is finally falling back asleep and I'm getting around to getting this done but it is December 27th and I ordered something here last Tuesday um, the only reason I did is one it was on sale two I had a couple DJ deposits come in and three my wife said that I could so you know when the boss says you should then you should but uh, I'm not typically one who enjoys or takes advantage of like refurbished items even when they're on sale I'd rather buy new but this really was too good to pass up so we're gonna get into it real quick so you guys can see the goods of this box which by the title you already know what this is so let's dig in get it dig in with dig it I'm funny sometimes, never, but we are going to get into this massive box right here without, without killing ourselves with Mr. Bear Grills. Oh wow, okay. So this is definitely not how I anticipated that they would send a refurbished model. Um, I figured it was going to be a box within a box, but no. It's the parts wrapped up in bubble wrap. So this makes me even more nervous. Uh, so I'm just going to unbox it and I'll probably try to do another video later. Or depending on how everything plays out, add on at the end of this. But for now we're just going to look at the unboxing and possibly a setup. So, we'll get in here, and we've got the uh, stand, or the arm, which is not very well um, wrapped up, only about halfway. So as you can see, that's uh, really making me nervous. But I hate, I hate buying anything refurbished because I just, you never know what you're actually getting. So uh, we have here a pivot. So that'll make it easy when you want to plug your devices in. And it looks like we've got an empty tube of bubble wrap. All right, and we've got a power cable a DVI and a VGA. So we got all of our cables here. Next, almost woke the baby. Next, we have the base of the stand, which actually does pivot as well, which is a huge selling point. So we've got a thumb screw down on the bottom side to go ahead and screw that in. So I wonder, why don't we go ahead, and since we've got these parts here, let's put the stand together. It may make it a little bit easier for the uh, main part of the box. All right, so. All right, there you have it. Got that, good deal. Oh wow, that's actually some heavy duty bubble wrap here. Let's see. Oh man, that thing is a monster compared to what I'm used to. I am currently playing on a 20 inch, a 20 inch screen that has DVI and VGA. And my PS4 obviously only has an HDMI out, so I have to get an adapter 
which makes it subpar quality. And not only that, but when I run it through my Elgato, my Elgato won't read the quality, so then I actually have to downstep it to 720, which makes it even worse. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this. This is a. Uh, it's like a jail cell, a portable prison for a monitor. So let's. Oh, look at this thing. This thing is a beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. But it looks like the screws are in the back of the screen itself, which most of these actually come with the screen attached to the stand or to the arm so on the back here we've got BenQ and we've got the screws and since it wasn't in the box I didn't even tell you what it is but this is the BenQ Zowie or Zoe the gaming lineup the uh, RL 2460 so this is all it says on the box. So this is the a console gaming monitor because it only puts out uh, 1080p at 60 hertz. But uh, the front here, we've got the BenQ logo on the bottom bezel. And it's a very nice, slim design. It's not too heavy. And then we'll check out the bottom real quick. So as you see here, we have the power, and then we've got a line in. So if you wanted to hook up another audio source into it for the built-in speakers, you can. And we've also got the headphone jack. And then you come over here, and I can't do this, I read this backwards on my small screen, but we've got two HDMI inputs, and we have an output. Like I said, I can't see it from here, so I may be saying those backwards. But we have two inputs, and the way they say this is, it will automatically recognize the source of the HDMI and will automatically switch it. And then what makes this nice, you can basically have no lag input, so you can run your console into the monitor, and then you can use the HDMI out feature to go directly into your game capture device. And then as you see here, we have, I believe that's a dual link, DVI and VGA. So no one uses VGA anymore. So I'm sure we will just say, screw that. But uh, yeah, this is what we have in the box here. The Zowie by BenQ RL2460 gaming series um, for console gaming. Like I said, the PS4 only puts out at 60 Hertz. So there's no point in getting anything better. Once I get a better computer, I may upgrade a, another monitor that will be capable of putting out the, or keeping up with the 144 hertz. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this video off here. Um, I think what I'll do, I'll go ahead and attach the monitor with the screws to the stand itself. And I'll hook up my computer and we'll check, the, check for dead pixels. So uh, we will go ahead and do that. We'll see you in just a little bit later.